Yep. This is a blessing. 82110. An original, like a original condition. The body is really good. It's got a little bit of a, uh, a bow ding and a little bit of a, um, a bell bust just here from here, which is quite odd. So, well, let's just go in there. Yeah, so that, something's hit it down there. Interesting. The body tube is really good. Body tube is really good. The video is bad. Okay, you gotta remember I'm about I'm bad. This got one hand on the horn and uh, one hand on the camera. It's a little not how you want it to be. But look, it's just the way it goes. It's one man show with these saxes. Um, yeah, I've got the uh, the neck out like that because. Uh, Let's see if we can grab this here. Yeah, is that okay? Is that working? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a little loosey-goosey. It's a little loose the whole way down. You might not see that in the camera. But that, that amount of movement, I'm not really into. Yeah, so uh, we're going to get this to uh, fit a little more snug. We're going to change the cork. Yeah, we're going to change that cork. I'm not a believer in those corks. Um, this pad's great. It's like it's having been used that um, Octave uh, neck pad. These pads are looking uh, real good. Um, it hasn't been played much. Whoever has done the work, it's. Uh, I, I'm told this is 20 years old, this work. Uh, the last overhaul, and this was 20 years ago, and, and look, it really hasn't been played. It's been sitting around a lot, and uh, it's got a couple of leaks, and it's a little dirty. I'm just going to pull apart and put it back together. going to clean everything, get it all really, really how it can be, um, and we're going to make sure that everything is sealing talking about everything sealing um why don't we um why don't we have a look at uh, the horn with a leak light down it that might be uh, that might be real good uh, before i do that i just wanted to do this i just wanted to get the camera on the horn in regards to the the venting on the stacks. So just let's have a look at. Um, let's go out. Zoom out a bit. Yeah. Okay. He said, "Here's my my venting tool." And uh, I'm trying to get the right angle, folks. We're trying to get the right angle here. So that's yeah. Here we go. Tool. So I'm right in the middle here. Let's do this again. Let's just do this again. And I might change the camera setting to that, to the old zoom. Yeah, the zoom's better, huh? Right, so this is right in the center of the spine of the, uh, the cup. So does that go under the pad? It nearly does, but yeah, sorry about the bad. Camera work effects. Anyway, this is the venting of the F speaker, I call it. This is the E quite lower, and the D is quite high. A little hard to see because of the. Uh, but yeah, now you can see that clear as bells now. Good one, yeah. The D's vented quite high, the E's vented quite low. Let's call this medium. Yeah. Is that the uh, perfect venting for intonation and uh, the speaking of the notes? This G is vented quite high, as you can see. That's huge high. Now let's zoom out one, huh? There we go. Do not drop the horn. Do 
Do not drop the horn is the mantra. Yeah. All right. I'm trying to get a camera angle and balance the horn because this angle here looks good at the moment, but it's not really what I want. But look, there's a huge amount of venting with this G, as you can see. My tool goes right in. So that's really vented high. Um, our A is a lot lower. The beers, let's just check the beers out because we can get into the beers here. The beers is quite, quite low as well. Uh, like not not low, but medium would call me that. No, definitely not closely vented. Here's our B. Um, yeah. All right, that's enough of that. Um, let's put that tool on the bench there, and I am going to put the old leak light on here. Get the leak light turned on. Let's just back that out. And I'm always apologizing for the camera work because it's um, all over the place. But I'm not really concerned. I've just got to make sure I don't drop the horn and that we get a good view of what's going on. So this is first touch. Um, yeah, that's a hitting hard at the back of the B. That's why both the speaker there and the B is open. It's just hitting hard at the back. Uh, similar problem here. Th this is a regulation problem. And I would say also if we go around to the back, let's just have a look at the G first. G's nice. The G is nice. So um, around the back of the biz and the A here. And that a and B is definitely hitting hard at the back first. There they go. Boom. And also the B hitting hard at the back as well. So that, boom, just shot there. So there's some uh, floating of the pads we're going to do there to get these uh, guys seated and regulated. Um, and let's just have a little look at zoom out yeah, it was zoomed out great have a look at the stack here the stack's not too bad but look obviously it uh, needs adjustment the G sharp the speaker and the F is open all hitting out the back I'd say the speaker's definitely hitting out the back we'll have a look in a minute when we get around the back of the horn ease um, ease looks like it's seated pretty well and uh, and the regulation from the E yeah, we will see down the track about that regulation. Spring tension is really good. I really like it. It's really not light at all. Here's our D. Our D's are not doing what it's supposed to be doing at all. Uh, that's our D. No wonder the horn's playing. And actually, the horn plays, but um, this plays and leaks this horn, which is, uh, which is exactly what every sax player wants. C's got the uh, the leak there, not seated properly. Um, and our bell keys, let's just go around this side of the C as well. Not too bad, that side, but um, yeah, we can get that working better. Um, and a little quick squeeze on the bell keys. So the pads look really nice and uh, just need to be seated and regulated. Clean everything pull everything apart, all the hinge tubes, everything's going to get a massive clean, and then we're going to put uh, the stacks back on. We're going to seat the stacks, and we're going to clamp them up for a couple of nights, and uh, then I'm going to regulate the stacks, and then we will put the rest of the keys, the outside keys, the bell keys, the low bow, C and E flat, the alt keys, the uh, alt F sharp, and uh, alt B flat and C. E and palm keys and get them make sure they're all seated perfectly and uh, any further adjustments get that neck adjusted get that new cork on there I think I'll start with the cork um, I'll take that cork off and we'll give that neck a clean and um, get this horn uh, 
playing as good as it can play.